is Zachary Mason. I'm a master's student in the Department of Animal and Dairy Sciences at Mississippi State University. Uh, I am legally blind. Uh, on a daily basis, I use a screen reading software, uh, Job Access for Windows or JAWS, um, Open Book, an optical character recognition software, um, and a uh, Braille Note um, BT uh, electronic note taker. JAWS is a software that uh, renders um, text-based information verbally to a blind user. Um, so if I, that voice that you're hearing now is the JAWS reader and with key commands I'm able to navigate save my desktop and it will Let's say go to uh, a shortcut into my thesis project. And just by clicking M, it navigates to the icon. Uh, I'm able to cycle through all the M icons. And you'll notice every time I hit a key, it's telling me what the um, what it is exactly that I've hit, but then it also will read to me what's happening as the computer reacts to what I just did. So, say if I arrow at, down, it will read to me each item in the list, and um, say if I open this folder, Go into my literature review. Um, and then I happen to know all of this um, really well and how to navigate, but let's just open a file just for the sake of it. And if you were to say need help with anything, the more recent versions of JAWS have a um, help documentation. Uh, you use a combination insert and F1. I'm going to slow down the speed. So, as you can see now, it's telling me all the information about the document. If there were hyperlinks in this document, it would tell me about those. Uh, it's telling me about the margins, it's telling me fonts, um, lots of information that I can't actually see. But just, it's giving me an overview. Now, within the document, there's a series of um, manipulations you can do uh, as a JAWS user that essentially allow you to do everything that you would with a mouse. Obviously JAWS is a robot voice um, and wasn't educated in the United States. Uh, there are ways to uh, go in and change uh, the dictionary um, or the pronunciation of certain words, so So that's my brother's name, Caleb, but it likes to pronounce that as Caleb. Caleb. I've selected the word Cal Caleb. Now with insert F2, I go to Dictionary Manager. Add 
Hold plus shift plus D to modify the default dictionary file. Otherwise changes will event only occur at which will shift add dot 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 button to activate rest in space. Add dictionary definitions dialog. Actual work called edit skylab type of text. And now what I'm going to do is tab to the next field. Add replacement work called edit. And this is where I kind of have to phonetically make it sound like Caleb. C-A-I-L space Caleb. Close enough for my purposes. And then I'm just going to tab through until I get to um, the OK. Okay, and now I'm just going to exit out. And I do want to save the changes. focus here and now it pronounces it differently this is my way to read for the most part um, all of the news I read is digital um, and for work purposes this is my primary way to communicate uh, both receiving mail with Outlook and um, or with the webmail client, and then, um, so I use JAWS a lot for interacting in email. Um, I use it for social media, um, such as Facebook. I haven't gotten to Twitter yet, um, but I do believe there are JAWS users out there with Twitter. So um, this is something that I'll use a lot for um, more social, um, is my iPhone mm -hmm. um, and it has like a, an entire Facebook well I've created a Facebook folder here with uh, several applications this is the uh, Twitter this is how I interact with Twitter um, and uh, three Facebook apps my experience with the um, Apple apps or with the Apple products is that they are very accessible, um, but I don't have really any experience with Android. Um, it's a very different platform, is my understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, they do work really hard to um, make sure that these are accessible for the most part. And essentially what this is, is it's a camera app, but it's an, I it's an identifier, so I take a bill, let's say 20, and if this was just handed to me, and I don't know what this is, what I can do is take this phone and skim over. The trick is getting it at the right height, $20. and it will instantaneously recognize and say aloud what that is. So this is an electronic braille note taker, mm -hmm. um, and I use this a lot for um, actually pretty much primarily and only for taking notes and also for uh, making like a note card. Um, say for a presentation, I may show a PowerPoint, uh, and I just did this actually, I may show a PowerPoint and then I'll also have the same presentation in a, an abbreviated Braille version um, on this, and I will read it from this and um, move slides, say. Um, so that's actually how I was able to do my proposal. Here, uh, you can see there are pegs that um, elevate and decline as you uh, move across um, or move up and down within a file. What I'm doing now is I'm navigating screen by screen. The word processor program on this uh, can say to uh, a plain text, an RTF, uh, a Word document uh, format, but then it also has several Braille formats. You have uh, B, 
BRF format, which is the essentially uh, the universal Braille markup language. Um, you have uh, its internal Keysoft Braille, which is something that only a Braille note can read. What I'm going to do now is take a, a printed document that is of very little use to me and turn it into an editable um, file. So um, with this open book, I'm going to turn the camera light on. Camera light enabled. Okay, and now I'm just going to press spacebar. And what it's going to, and what it's done is it's taken a picture. It's taken a picture, and it's um, taking that, and it's turning the scanned image into a, or the photograph image into um, editable text. Probably the greatest challenge to the blindness community is not so much. Um, I mean, this the stereotype that um, there are some things that a blind person cannot do uh, is definitely a barrier. I would say one of the other, um, the second greatest barrier is um, that there are a lot of things that uh, can be done um, to make things accessible. It's just um, building a network and finding out how to get something done um, and finding someone who is uh, either qualified to help um, give you the advice and the tools you need uh, or someone who's willing to work with you um, who can help you identify an alternative means to accomplish uh, a similar goal. Uh, those are the two people that um, you will need to uh, basically be successful in whatever endeavor it is. Um, I mean, you have to also be really good at figuring out things by yourself because there's a, a lot of times uh, normal people are not going to take the time of day to help you figure out how to do something non-sidedly.